Tom Clancy's X Defiant is basically here and it arrives with four very different classes aka factions and today I will give you guys a lowdown on each faction and what they will offer within Tom Clancy's X Defiant. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So on release confirmed by Ubisoft there will be 4 faction classes for us to use. There will no doubt be more added within the future also. The 4 classes on release will be very very different with different traits and base stats and it's important to add. Each no doubt can be leveled but you are not tied to a single faction and can change faction upon dying and respawning. Also within each faction are defiants, basically different looking members of the faction which you can use. They don't have different attributes, it's more a unlock and design here. So let's check these factions out, the four are Echelon, Outcast, Cleaners and Wolves. Firstly guys we will take a look at Echelon. So the Echelon faction are from the Splinter Cell game series and it's a support class in this game, or as I see them, the stealthy class. So each faction has an ultimate and a trait ability. The Echelon's ultimate allows you to at a certain range see enemies through walls and no doubt ping enemies for your teammates too. This only lasts a short period of time so you have to make the most out of this ultimate and use it wisely and at the right times. The trait allows you to have a brief period basically to cloak yourself and although you ain't completely invisible if you don't move around too much you will be pretty hard to see. Now this class I won't lie I am loving the look of this faction. Being a massive fan of Splinter Cell of old also I'm probably going to lean towards this faction when playing but we will see. Ok so moving on and the next faction we will check out are the wolves. Now the wolves are the faction from the ghost recon series and these are the tank class of X defiant. And yeah no doubt as you are thinking it was inevitable that we will get a tank class within this game, literally every game has one. So the wolves will have increased health and shielding abilities which will help your entire team for sure. With the wolves ultimate ability being what looks to be a moving force field shield which you can see is beamed out of the player's back and it travels around the arena with you as well as giving you some amazing looking electric kind of shotgun. This will no doubt only be effective within this force field and it means using this would be wise when knowingly encountering multiple enemies for the various different reasons there will be within this game. Now in terms of the extent of this shield and the shield it gives you I wouldn't imagine while this is active you will be invincible as it does cover 360 degrees of the player. I'd say it's more likely just going to decrease the damage you take. Now the trait the wolves have is a static shield which you can hide behind but shoot through. I say hide, you ain't out of sight, the player can still see you but it seems as though it will deflect damage. This you shoot into position for it to stay there for either it to be destroyed or its timer runs out. This cover could be very useful in the right spot so laying down cover for multiple instances. Ok so we're going to move on and next up guys we have the cleaners. So the cleaners are a faction from the division, the first of two from the division and this is the assault class of X defiant and these have been labelled as the aggressive gunners with high damage capabilities. Now I know straight away that these will be a fan favourite as they do look like extreme fun. So the cleaners basically burn out that vermin with their ultimate ability being a flamethrower where you can literally run around the battlefield burning shit alive. How cool is that? The trait for the cleaners is a static turret which can be thrown down to take out enemies within surrounding areas which seems to fire a projectile explosive as well as bullets. This indeed could be a different setup which you can choose and I can imagine it's been used in many different instances paired greatly with the likes of the wolf's shield to protect it while it takes those enemies out. I do also love the design of the cleaners with those hazmat suits and those gas masks pretty cool and I bet there's some amazing costumes you can also unlock here. Ok so lastly guys for the 4 factions on release we have the out. 
outcasts. So the outcasts are the second faction from the division within X Defiant, and these are X Defiant's healer class, which again will have a very important role within the right team. Now his ultimate seems to be a rod you kind of slam into the ground which emits healing gas to all teammates within a certain radius which could be extremely helpful for those clutch plays and could create something a little OP if your teammates are using the right factions too. I can see it now for sure. Now the trait for the outcasts from all the footage I've seen looks like it deploys some kind of drone that maybe follows you around, either this or you can heal nearby teammates by tethering to them. Footage again for this class at the moment does seem a little scarce for sure. But yeah guys, there we have it, the four factions with an X Defiant, but what I will say is there are abilities which you can use. What these are right now and how they affect gameplay we don't know and don't have concrete evidence on but i feel they will fit accordingly with each faction now within the trailers and minute gameplay we have there are a couple of interesting spots like this riot shield which could be concept or it could be a feature for the wolves but we will see but yes guys that's what we know so far about the four factions within x defiant which one will you be using let me know down below but on that note guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one